Let's go to Canberra now and catch up with the Nationals leader, David Littleproud, of course, who's a senator from Queensland. Thanks for joining us, David. Uh, appreciate your time. Um, first thing on that, it's such a paradox to be inflicting environmental damage in the interest of saving the planet, supposedly. But is Stephen right there? Are the planning controls uh, completely um, inadequate in Queensland and, and elsewhere in the country? Oh, oh, totally. And this senseless and reckless race towards renewables and about reducing emissions has forgotten the first principle about what they're trying to do is to improve the environment. And what they're doing is actually degrading the environment. Uh, this isn't common sense at all when you're going to have uh, land clearing to the scale that they're talking about. And that's before you even get to the transmission lines. And that's not just in Queensland. There's 28,000 kilometres of transmission lines, new transmission lines that have to come in uh, for these renewable energy projects. And you have to wonder about the social conscience also of these corporates that are undertaking this. Is it more about profit? Or is it more about what they say it is about trying to reduce emissions and improve the environment? Because they're not. And you don't have to go too far south of there also to Yungla, uh, where the state government's going to spend $12 billion in the biggest hydro project in our nation's history uh, and take out 770 hectares of pristine landscape. Uh, and you haven't heard boo from the Greens about the fact that, again, um, this is probably ecologically but also engineeringly uh, one of the, the most challenging projects I'll ever do. Uh, and I, the only thing I have to disagree with Stephen on is that it's not just our natural environment, it's also our landscape, our, our agricultural landscape. I was in Wagga Wagga last week and we are going to see outside the New South Wales government, renewable energy zone, a thousand acre, this is a thousand acre solar farm that's going over productive landscape. Uh, that's going to take away food security for Australians and the world uh, by us putting in place uh, these solar farms on productive landscape. Now, there is a solution to this. I'm not against us reducing emissions. The Nationals have long held the view that we can use this thing called small-scale modular nuclear. We only have to peak over the Pacific. The technology is emerging. We can put in place the small-scale modular nuclear technology, particularly where existing coal-fired power stations are and may shut down, and we can plug them in without the transmission Absolutely. lines. Absolutely. Uh, and that's just common sense. And we it's can got protect such... the environment and keep a productive landscape. It's a tiny environmental footprint compared to wind and solar, as we're seeing. Apologies, I think, when I introduce you, I, I, I uh, inadvertently uh, demoted you to the Senate, there, David. But <laughs> That's I guess where speech, politicians but, go to retire, mate. <laughs> exactly.